What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of BRD Tour. As always, I'm your host, Miguel Brambilla. On today's episode, we're going to go, go ahead and continue with the month of March challenges. But today, we're taking a little bit of a detour. We're going to go visit Yakima, Washington. If you're not familiar, it's the hop capital of the United States of America. <laughs> they produce and ship out some of the best hops throughout the world and also produce a lot of amazing beers from their breweries. So we're going to go ahead and check out well, actually, I'm going to list the breweries here that Yakima has. We're going to try to check out as much as we can in one day. I'm going to try to go to each brewery and try at least one of their signature beers. We have a lot to go through. Let's do this, guys. All right, guys, so we can go ahead and cross off Bell Breaker off our Beer Detour Challenge. Um, went in there and tried a Red Ale. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was really good. It was exactly what a Red Ale, Red Ale should be, which is a little bit malty, uh, not so bitter, and just great overall taste. Really good. Uh, I think it had an ABV of just 5%, Dang. so it didn't overwhelm you. The taste was really good. It was really, really fresh. Um, Bell Breaker is always known for farm fresh straight off the top. I'm gonna let you guys see this is the brewery right here and literally right there are the hop fields so you can't get any fresher than that straight from the hop fields straight to the brewery right here um, it doesn't get any more fresher than that. Just took off from Single Hill, uh, tried their Snow Cone IPA, I think it was called. Uh, really good, really hoppy, uh, but it was a little strong, I'm not gonna lie. I think it was like a 7.0, uh, yeah. I got a little buzz with that one, but I'm chill right now. Uh, I'm just heading into the next brewery. Uh, I always have a good time every time I go to uh, Single Hill. They had live music, they had a ton of people. The sun came out, their outdoor patio was awesome. Uh, always have a fun time at Single Hill. Um, let's go on to the next one. We get cross Single Hill off the, off the list. Let's go to the next one, guys. All right, guys, just got out of uh, Fifth Line Brewing uh, right here in Yakima. Um, this one was really cool. It's a little spot, not too bad. Um, the beer I tried was a uh, face wash IPA. 
pretty sure that's what it's called, face wash IPA. Uh, I think it had like a 4.5 ABV, so it wasn't strong like the one I had at, <laughs> at uh, Single Hill, but it was really good. It had a nice herbal sort of earthy taste, not too bitter, uh, very strong hops, mosaic and El Dorado type of hops. You can really taste the hop, uh, very hop centric. The location was really nice. I hadn't been there before. So uh, it was a, a nice little spot. It's a really um, hockey themed. So I think they're, the whole brewery is hockey themed, but um, really nice place, really nice location, really nice staff. I uh, love the beer there. I think I have one or two more on the list here that I'm gonna try to hit. Some of the beer locations, some of the breweries actually are closed. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, usually they're pretty open, but I was looking around on uh, the map and I saw some of the breweries are closed. So I might not be able to get to all the ones that I wanted to, but I'm actually headed to another spot where I'm right now called the Wandering Hop. Um, this one's a little bit more in town. Just gonna take me a little bit to get to it, but uh, it's worth it. Let's go guys. came from the Wandering Hop and uh, arrived at Valley Brewing. And at the Wandering Hop, I had two uh, beers. Um, they were IPAs, uh, I believe they're around 4.5% ABV. Honestly, can't remember the name, but I know they were really smooth. Um, no aftertaste, uh, really clear. Uh, there were lagers, I believe, um, around 4.2 to 4.5% ABV. So they weren't too bad. And then it came over to Valley Brewing. Uh, I can't remember the name again. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the, the ones I had here as well, but um, I know this one that I tried here at Valley Brewing was 4.5% and it was a blonde. It had um, El Dorado, it had uh, Simcoe hops, super juicy, no bitter aftertaste, very herbal, very earthy, but really smooth, really good. All the brews here that I've tried so far in Yakima, all the brews have been really fresh. That's what I love about coming to the breweries over here in Yakima, Washington, is that the, the breweries always have the freshest beer. If you're ever in Washington, guys, stop by all the breweries here. Um, it is a mission, uh, but it's a good mission. It's a good one at that. Um, how many beers, breweries have I hit up so far? Uh, I think I have about four or five, four or five breweries so far. And um, it's been worth it. It's been an amazing mission. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, you wanna hit that notification bell that way you're alerted every time a new video drops. The sun's coming down, that means it's time to go home. Uh, so hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like, share, comment, do your guys' thing. I'll see you guys next time. As always, <laughs> see you guys later.